smart versus sexy. Like every American movie, literally just gonna take my glasses off now and suddenly become hot. No, in all seriousness, the glare will show up on camera. But I thought I'd talk about what it's like for women in general and I think it's almost a choice that women subconsciously have to make when they're young. They subconsciously have to make the call, am I gonna be the smart girl? Am I gonna be the sexy girl? society won't let me be both. I don't think it kind of affects men in the same way. For some reason, you, you can't show yourself as being intelligent and sexy. It's kind of if these two things don't go together. I think you can kind of see this now from the modern backlash against feminism. Even sometimes in my videos, I feel maybe I've possibly been a bit too harsh. Maybe I've kind of judged women that use their sexual side. And I know I've talked about how women are on Instagram, in bikinis, etc. I think it's because I grew up in a different generation from the women that are growing up now. So when I grew up, it was all about your achievements, um, going to university, obviously, when I was a child, there wasn't this pressure of social media. And we were coming kind of off the back of maybe kind of the second wave of feminism. And there was still definitely this feeling that you could be what you wanted to be. Female power. It was all about the Spice Girls, girl power, being who you wanted to be. Whereas the generation now that are growing up after possibly third wave feminism, they are growing up under the pressure of social media. They're seeing the people that are successful, that have altered their body to beyond repair. And we're viewing success in terms of who has the most Instagram followers, who has the most likes. We've definitely lost that concept of your brain is more important than how you look. And I think what we'll see now, whereas when my generation was growing up, focus wasn't placed so much on your looks. Now we're seeing the opposite where only look seems to matter. And the inevitable fallout of this is that there will be a backlash and it will just go in another cycle. You can already see now it's pulling back to being more conservative. I don't necessarily think that it helps the situation. What it's literally doing is it's just pitting women against each other. And when I'll say stuff like this, I'll always get someone in the comments saying, well, yeah, you made a video a year ago about OnlyFans girls and you were just jealous because they're making money. What woman would not be jealous of someone that can make a lot of money in a short amount of time by just using their body? But obviously that isn't a sustainable way of living and it's ultimately going to cause detriment to those females later down the line, which they don't necessarily understand. But I think I wanted to talk about in general how it seems to pay to be sexy. Being sexy seems to make the most money. It seems to be now that we've brainwashed ourselves as a culture where men are only responding to sexy. Where are the men out there that are responding to the smart women? They don't seem to be available. We seem to have definitely moved in culture where men don't seem to value smart, educated women. Men seem to only value women that have a social media following, women that are sexy. And what message is this sending to young girls? It's sending the message that to be accepted, to be liked, you have to alter your body to look like Khloe Kardashian. We've all seen the fallout from that photo where Khloe felt like she couldn't show her real body because in showing her real body, it invalidated her whole brand and she couldn't let people see the truth. The truth is that her photos are fake, her photos aren't real. Her photos are photoshopped. The funny thing is she looked absolutely fine in that photo a lot of women would kill to look like that unedited photo, but she's created so much of this brand that she can't let her real self and her real body be shown. And that's just sad. And I think now we're left with a generation of women that feel that they've been, especially my age, that feel 
that they've been told a lie. They feel that they've been told that if they're smart, if they work hard, if they go to university, that quote unquote is what men are looking for. And then they come to the realization that shit, men aren't looking for that. Men are still looking for the hot women. And it, it leaves a lot of women frustrated because you feel like you're left in this catch 22. What do I possibly have to do to attract a man because men seem to be wanting this one thing yet if i become this thing that men seem to want then i'll get ultimately a backlash from women and then i also think that may maybe i've been part of the problem criticizing these women that in itself is not feminist for me to be criticizing women that go down a different path from me. This is a problem that I have with Candace Owens. The trouble with Candace Owens is that she feels that her form of feminism is better than everyone else's. And it's not that it's better, it's just different. I mean, if Cardi B wants to do that, if she wants to put out songs like that, then that's her own prerogative. It's not really for me to sit and judge her form of feminism it's just different. It's not something that I would choose to do and it's not something I would recommend for females. But we definitely seem to have lost the original concept of feminism. Feminism seemed to be equality between the sexes, whereas it now seems to be women judging other women, men judging women, men saying that they want women to go back to the 1950s. The thing is, it's not gonna happen. You're not gonna be able to put the genie back in the box. And this is a problem, is because you have men on one side of the internet saying that they want traditional wives, saying that they want women to be feminine, women to look a certain way. And then you have women on the other side of the spectrum, even like me, saying that they want masculine men, saying that they want these strong men. And the thing is, the world has changed. You have men trying to hold these females up to these sexual standards, trying to be these paragons of virtue when they're sleeping around with lots of different women. And at the end of the day, I think, don't hold other people up to a standard that you are not prepared to live by yourself. If you want a chaste woman, then be chaste yourself. Do not go around there putting on the internet, shaming women for having sex with people when you're doing the exact same thing. Obviously there are men out there that do like intelligent women. It just seems to be, where the hell are they? A lot of women feel this, they feel, they kind of feel like, what's the point? Men are only interested in women for sex. And I've talked about that before. It's almost as if a woman's personality and attributes doesn't even matter. It all seems to be about what she looks like, what social media following she has. I think, if I'm being honest, the majority of men will like a smart, educated woman. That is also sexy. The two go hand in hand. It's just difficult as a woman when you see content out there by so-called dating experts that have been divorced twice saying that all you need to be is hot that's all men want. Because I know deep down that's not true. I know deep down men do want someone more evolved than just someone that's hot. But sadly, there are men younger than me watching this in their teens and then they will spout this back to other people, spam me in my comment section, telling me about gender wars, telling me, you know, I've hit the wall or whatever. And this seems to be where society has gone. I don't even know the answer, basically. On smart versus sexy seems to be that sexy is winning at the moment. And we need to rebalance this in society. And especially for young girls watching this, we need to override it so smart override sexy. But at the same time, we need to tell women that it's okay to be both. Even sometimes, like, I thought, oh, I just want to put a video up where I'm doing, like, a cute little dance. Do you know what I mean? Just like a cute, funny little dance. Just show off my sexy side. But then I kind of think, I can't do that because my whole brand has been built on, it's all about what I'm saying, um, what I'm thinking. And even I kind of think if I put like a video up like that, it invalidates my whole brand. 
and I'm going to get people trolling me saying you're a sellout, why are you doing this, why have you put a dance video up? We definitely pigeonhole women and say you can only be one thing, you can only be smart or sexy, you can't be both. I think like in this video I just wanted to tell women that you can be both, you can be smart and sexy. As women we shouldn't play ourselves against each other and say that one brand of feminism is better than another brand of feminism because that's not helping the discourse either is it and it's just adding to the pressure of the men already putting their two penneth in we just need to all be a bit more tolerable in society of what other people want to do and accept it might not be what you want to do but just let people speak their truth thanks for watching everyone please subscribe come on let's get me up to 100 apparently if you get up to 100 YouTube starts recommending your videos. Come on. Let's get me up to 100 people. And see you next week.